Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. We are the Grand Experiment of Symposium on our Doom World, and time is definitely ticking down for us. Now, it's been a few days since I recorded the first batch of videos, and one of the things that I hadn't realized, looking at more of these values over here, is that um, the cost, which I hadn't realized, to resettle goes up. It's cheap for the workers. I didn't realize specialists were more expensive. Um, so we are going to, we are going to go and activate the evacuation protocols once we get the points. The thing is, that is going to mean our construction ships are kind of going to have to stop doing their stuff. Um, this is fine. This is just mining operations. Actually, do the research station. And then do that, please. And you over here, I think I'm just going to cancel and reset you. I think you're just building these mining stations. It is great. But we're going to have to put a pin in our expansion, which is too bad because we'd really like to get, say, Pilgrim as quickly as possible. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Other than that, we are going to keep building things um, as much as possible. We can't build buildings ahead of time on secondary, but I can keep uh, doing districts over here so that we, um, when we move people over, they will be able to be employed right away. Food's going okay, money's a little bit hurting. I mean, we're gonna need kind of a smattering of everything on this planet. Industrial district coming up now. What I think I might do is I might do a generator district next. I'm not sure if it's actually the best way of making money. Well, no, it must be better than selling resources, but I'll go ahead and queue that up now just to make sure I don't um, overspend it somewhere else. Let's bring the speed up. Actually, the Starbase over here, what's your deal? Do I want to do anything with you? Don't really need a second module right now, although we might want it for some pirate busting. May as well build the off-world trading company here. Doesn't add much value, but it will do some, as long as we're willing to spend the alloys on it, but I think it's going to be okay long-term investment. And then we'll be grabbing some more planets over here. Speaking of planets, I did kind of want to grab to this planet over here. It's actually arid and everything. But I think I do have to stop the expansion. Oh, that... I feel like no matter what I'm going to do here, it's going to be the wrong decision, right? Because we need a bunch of influence to run a new edict and move people. But I also want a bunch of, exp of influence to be able to grab this system over here. Oh, uh, I just don't know what's right. Um, okay, Federation, what is this? Federation Naval Capacity. I don't need to rush that. Trade value will help a little bit, and then we can get... The market fee reduction should also be helpful to help us uh, raise some funds in a second here. Well, whenever we get it, it's not going to be in a second. But two more all over there. Initializing mm -hmm. hostile engagement protocols. What are these? Are these mining drones? Oh, these are... Wait, ransomers. Oh, yeah! So again, it's been a few days since, uh, since I played this. So I was forgetting what we were up to. Admiral gains trait, now has the aggressive trait. Okay, good for you. First contact event pending. Oh, the, the, the Tianki. Cool. Oh, and we gain some influence from that. That's great, because we want that. So I'll probably just save up a bunch of influence here, so that we can pop the edict and start moving people over. Oh, ransomers. All's well, the end well. Recruit lugs in safely on their back, back in primary. We get a bunch of influence. Save your modifier for a happiness boost. Very good. Um, I'm going to send you guys home. Just home for repairs right now. Um, yeah, 29, 29. Did I? All right, we don't, we're not actually going to want that because we're going to want you limited to just 20. So before I accidentally do, because this would put us over a naval capacity, which isn't always bad. In fact, it's often fine if you've got the economy to support it. However... Um, right now we do need, our money is a little bit tight. Generator district being built there, which is fine. And I'm not building anything over here. Do we not have a spare leader? I don't think I want to spend to recruit one though. Hmm. Generator district. Um, I'll probably get another industrial district after this, because you know the negative consumer goods isn't great. And I do want to, yeah, I'm going to keep building like crazy on secondary over here. Well, and potentially on 3D printer array as Special well. Project. But if I recall correctly, the 3D printer array, tropical world, uh, we, we don't have a lot of population in our home world we can move there. Whereas secondary is, is, is arid? Arid, yes. And that is our peeps. Finally, our scientists have managed to peek inside the alien box without compromising the container itself. Oh, yes, we need to open this. 
You have three vials. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Um, and then we're going to pick the, it's the green vial. I think that permanently gives us a 5% boost to our habitability, which is going to be really, really useful for us. Extremely Special useful. Project the borders open. Thank you. That's nice. Um, our envoys are actually not busy. Hold on. We have a spare envoy. damn close let's make sure we're improving aggressively with you if we can get a little alliance going on that it's going to be really nice science ship over here i guess i can turn on oh hold on no we'll research the project there i guess we've got to survey that system as well and there oh do we have the mission going on for the alien specimens that's probably what those things are okay that's fine system survey concluded so yeah just banking up the influence Aggression pack. The hand of Armok. I love that the hand of Armok is in on this. And we're gonna need to buy some more consumer goods. Sell off some food. Sell off just a little bit of minerals. Sell you. Buy a bunch of consumer goods. We died. Oh, one of our one of our leaders. Okay. Does envoy, but. Construction project concluded. Establish embassy. Yes, please. That sounds fine. Systems are going to make their way back home, which is good. Auto exploration is going fine. Uh, okay, 3D printer array is no longer building anything. But again, okay, if I check the resettle... Yeah, we don't have anyone we can really resettle to 3D printer array right now. Um, so they've got a little bit of housing, a little bit of free jobs, so there's nothing else we really need to do over here. Okay, all the attention is going to be spent on secondary, which is a new generator district coming in. Um, well, we do have a little bit of spare housing and jobs, and with the generator district, we're going to move some people uh, possibly now. So let's go edicts evacuation protocol. Because we will come out ahead. Um, I don't know if it matters. I think what we're going to want to do is move workers right now because they're going to work in the generator district jobs. So we'll move two right now. I guess I want to click here, go here. So let me move a couple of farmers. So lock still stockpile, but you're going to be okay. Oh yeah, because I just spent some energy credits to do this. Housing's currently full, but now you've got a little bit more room, which is good. So I'm going to resettle um, a couple of miners. Okay, no more housing. Basically no jobs, but the industrial district's still coming on. That'll be the next thing that gets built, which will give us more consumer goods, which will be one last thing we have to worry about buying. But theoretically... I think those, yeah, those technician jobs are... I guess we only have the two. And then there's, I guess they're waiting for a promotion over here. We are going to want, I think, another generator district. I don't have to queue it up right now. Although I guess I may as well. I'm going to because I want to make sure I don't accidentally overspend all my minerals. Or most likely, I don't oversell my minerals. Um, I should sell other things just to make sure that keeps going in production here. All right, survey is going well. Where's my, where's my, there we go. Fleet's coming home. We'll do some upgrading soon. What is this tech? Capital building. Resources from the jobs. More upkeep, but that's going to come out as a net win. We can get some um, hangar tech. I don't know if we have things that can hold it. I don't know if this is going to enable the hangar module in our star bases. It actually might, wouldn't it? Gene Clinic, no, it, it's pretty good. I know, like, uh, first when the, um, the the giant patch came that, that changed the population again, it was mathematically poor, but then they tweaked it, and I think it's decent, but I don't know if that's what we rush for. Maybe we just get some naval capacity here. You know what? I like that idea, because being limited to 20 is pretty poor. If there is a war, we're going to want to be able to, uh, to scale up quite quickly. Yes, we're going to use the green solution. There you go, bioadaptability, which means right here, plus 5% habitability on our primary pops, which is very good, because it brings a secondary from 70 to 75%. That makes a big difference. 
mining station output is nice. Well, I could get the actual hangar tech here. Crystal infused plating, star hold, destroyer hull points, or just plasteel armor. I'm just gonna grab the plasteel armor for now. Okay, so my construction ships are idle. Well, okay. You can go here. Actually, I think I'll just send you to do the other one. If we're not grabbing more territory, which I think is correct right now. We'll do that and that. And secondary, yeah. Still needs a little bit more time. Special project in full organism. Oh, we traced the Grunner distress signal to its source. Crumbling Grunner research station on screen. The last bowl or bowl. Oh, yes, I've seen this before. We've seen this before. So this last plant creature is in a vat. Everything is terrible. We can ask it a few questions for some background lore. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go through it here. Would you like to join us? No. Um... Does our kind yet live? So you guys can pause if you want to read the flavor text here. Perhaps it's best. All right, now we get a relic. <gasps> Wait a minute, this relic's insanely good, isn't it? Uh, where are the relics? Is it under like society management? Relics. It, yes, it turns a world into a guy in world. This is amazing. Now it costs a lot of influence. We are influence limited. <sighs> Ah, aliens. All right, let's send an envoy there. I'll just pick you, I guess. Oh, we're definitely going to want to trigger that because our habitability situation is poor right now. Um, I guess you can just go to. Oh no, wait. There's a. There were some projects over here. Research, research. Thank you. Wow, it's taking a long time for the fleet to come home. It feels like. Because I felt like I started moving them back almost at the start of the episode. We're 12 minutes in. I mean, there have been some pauses, admittedly. But I guess there are quite a few systems to jump through. Oh, first event. Let's do the spacefarers. Okay. Hopefully we can get a um, an influence injection. So I want to turn this into a guy in world. But we may have to continue to save our influence right now just to move System people. Survey. Secondary is going to have some more job spaces soon. Tendermark Association status. Oh, yeah. So how are we looking over here? Federation. Minus eight. Oh, got slightly worse. But relations theoretically are improving. Oh, no, we're capped. Right. I, I forget that it, it does have a cap of 100 in here. So we can actually pull our envoys out of here. What can we do to get more modifiers? Border friction, hold on. And refuse subjugation. How's our, sorry, policy? Okay, we are on cooperative, which is good. So, okay, minus four is going away, but the plus 11 is slowly going away. The border friction I can't do anything about. Can I give him a gift or something, maybe? Hmm. Maybe if I build up my fleet so I'm stronger than them, they'll be more into the idea. Now, these guys hate me, right? Yeah, God. You're really annoying. I mean, probably I can't improve it. But yeah, I, there we go. I can actually grab one of these Klein dudes out of there. Because... I mean, I might want to keep one around to maintain. It's going down, but I can't be right. Well, maybe it is. But we'll maintain the plus 100 baseline one with them. And then see what we can develop here. System survey concluded. This maw has been surveyed. I think we've got two. Devil's maw? Is it Devil's maw and Demon's maw? Okay, so there's, they're not quite the same. They're pretty damn similar, though. Um, okay, hold on. You just finished, so we can move two more people without having homelessness. So we're gonna do that. Farmer situation's pretty okay. And then we'll move a clerk as well. So you're once again at your housing limit. We are trying to build some more. Our economy's 
fixed now, which is great, because we're moving people off the planet with, like, the huge penalties to everything. What is the primary penalties here? Yeah, minus 90%. I, I don't think we've got a lot of time left over there. But... Ooh, really, construction project concluded. I guess we're really not influence limited, which is interesting. Okay, how do I feel? How about expanding out over to here? Or this way? Right, this project here? Automated oh, shipyard. Okay, I, worth, I guess it's worth doing that real quick. Now, I don't have a ton of money, but I might still want to recruit another scientist. Okay, I'm gonna recruit the Spark of Genius one. And replace one of these. So you've got Spark of Genius, you got Spark of Genius, you don't. You technically are currently researching the right thing. But that's not going to happen a lot. So I'm going to move the Spark of Genius one there. And then this scientist, which has a little bit of XP now, is going to go onto that science ship. And just go ahead and be automated. See, if I take these systems... Oh, he, shit, he's probably taking that. Maybe I should have taken that sooner. Construction project concluded. It might be important for us to grab this and this, because he might be jumping here. And then he might be working his way there, but uh, I kind of feel like the if we're going to spend influence, it should be to Gaia a world. You know me. You know I hate the idea of not expanding aggressively. But yeah, and that is a really good system and it has an archaeological site. Maybe I should have snagged that sooner. It is, it's too late now, but it's, I mean, it's always a situation, right? We want everything simultaneously, and how do you pick? I don't know. I think we'll just plan on expanding um, north again for whatever value of north you can consider on a galactic map. Anomaly found. Yeah, we'll research that. That's fine. So 3D printer, okay, is currently filling up. Uh, it's going to have amenity issues soon as well. We might want to go and just plop down a hollow theater. Although it needs some housing as well. So we may as well do more of these districts. Um, in which case we'll probably keep going with industrial zones. Because that's what's quite good here. So let me do that. Now I can't transfer population over here. It's just it's natural growth that's got to happen. I mean, I guess I could. If like we were about to die. But I mean, then I may as well send it to... Uh, to our farm experiments. Communications established with the wall. Aliens give me a An ton of influence. Has established communication. Spiritual seekers. Okay, we might have a bit of a hard time because we are not uh, um, uh, materials. Okay, I'm gonna go and trigger this. I think this is gonna be really good. So then, I think what happens is I go to the planet, look at the decisions. There we go. Turns it into a Gaia world. Bam. Oh, and we get some new species. Number of new bow population of appeared planet side emerging with terraforming neared completion. Hopefully this doesn't backfire on us. But now this is a Gaian world. Which is going to help a lot. I think the amenities just went up because we're no longer getting any habitability penalties. Which is interesting because there's hostile fauna, but apparently this minus 10% is not factoring in. I wonder if with the Gaia world it's just 100% locked in at 100. Even if you get other modifiers? Because I would have thought we might be sitting at 90 or sort of 95, because we've got a plus 5%, but... Alright, cool. Um, yeah, so we got new pops over here that don't have anywhere to work right now. They'll be fine. Actually, um, the population of these aliens... I guess, okay, hold on. If I go species... Okay, you have to live on Gaian worlds. I'm like, can we move you somewhere else? Lifespan, food... You're delicious, apparently. Less housing, slow breeders. And yeah, they have gone up like this. Despite the fact that they had to skip a system to do it. I probably should have grabbed Thrad earlier. It's a little late now. Oh, did we just get Ion Thrusters for free? Oh, that's fantastic. That's really quite good. 
I might actually do some upgrading on my ships right now. Oh, why don't we have a new design, auto design destroyer? Go away. Um, you have a lot of energy. Blue lasers is still fine. You've got that, 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 that is okay. I may as well give you the Aftermurner since we've got the power to spare. I'm gonna save you. How's the Corvette looking? Oh, give you the Aftermurners as well. Everything else is looking okay. Ooh, you have negative power. But that's all right. We can give you some armor instead of some shields over here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so this fleet, I'm going to queue it for an actual upgrade when it gets there. We're going to get an increase to our naval capacity as well. And then we can bring this fleet up to 30 and then build another one that's got 20, if need be. Oh, no, I can't do this yet. God, it's another freaking planet! Concluded. Oh, I didn't realize it wasn't paused. Basic combat rolls. Oh, that'll go into our new design. Um, proof reactors, or deflectors, maybe. You know what? I think we have to research station output first. Now, auto upgrading is currently on. So... No. Auto upgrade is here. Oh, and you don't have a scientist. Well, let's give you this maniacal one. Oh, you're currently on a research mission. Okay, I'm going to just recruit. I'm just going to get the... Oh, wait, I don't want to find a Um. Okay, I will sell some food. I'm going to recruit the one that's the youngest just because they can get the most experience. We'll try to remember to swap some guys around. But it's not the end of the world if I don't. I don't think I can do this, because at some point, I'm just going to have to, like, move everyone, even if there's not any space. Yeah. Okay, next district could really be anything. At some point, we do need just a pure city district, just for a little bit more housing, because especially we'll get jobs from this. So this might, might, might be the time to do that now. Now, we're going to have to wait 10 years, I think, before we can do another artifact pop and Gaia another planet, but it's going to be really nice when we can do that. Really, really nice. Oh, I hate not expanding here, but no. We're going to have to play it safe. And yeah, we can colonize these, even if they're not, like, great, because once they're colonized, we can gaia -fy them. Here, 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 here. Oh, there we go. We secured some species. Which is going to help our genetics research a little bit, or society research a little bit, which we don't have to rush necessarily. Although, I don't know, we might want to build up to uh, our fleet of 30 quite quickly. Um, and you popped a lot of things. You are going to get some more housing, or yeah, some more housing and some jobs fairly quickly. Uh, I probably will have to go and throw in a happy making thing on this planet pretty fast. I don't know if it's literally the next thing I'll queue. I think I'm just going to end up queuing a second one of these when we get some minerals again. Evading hostiles. Oh, all right, we got some hostiles. Send an envoy. Oh, now you'll form the Federation. Why? What changed? Okay, I have to go research a cooperative because... You know, I don't normally have that. The thing is, we're going to have, like, different civics and things like that, which makes the Galactic uh, Union better. But no, that's going to have to be okay. Um, it will cost us influence every month, but that's going to have to be fine, too. I guess maybe our trust kept going up with these guys. That's probably the modifier that kept building up. Um, okay, so this is going to be... A, a, Kind of a galactic union of scientists. I might not want to use the galactic union term, right, though? Because the whole thing is this, like, galactic think tank. Or, or something like that, you know? The idea is for all of us to pool all the research together, you know, run these great... Ooh, science symposiums? Science... Galactic symposium? I like that. Galactic symposium is we're going to start this up. Bam. And they should accept. Science ship status. And Destroy. we lost the science ship. Boo. Pause. Fed 
Federation. Boom! New Federation has been triggered. We're currently losing XP, but we'll be able to fix that. Communications established with someone, giving us more influence, which we're going to be nice with. Okay, so we need to go and send, theoretically, two envoys over here, so this can go positive. Um, we really don't need to suck up to the clan the same way anymore. And everyone else is busy, except this guy. Well, they're all busy, but there we go. Okay, so this is going to be positive over here. Rotation succession type is bad for cohesion. But random won't be? Really? And they'll agree to it. Alright, let's do that just because it's going to be good for our cohesion right now. I don't know if it's going to be good for us in the long term. But again, we're, we're not going to be... We're, we're not intentionally navigating things in such a way that we're, you know, setting stuff, uh, ourselves up for, like, ultimate galactic power. We're going to be trying to be friendly. Okay, so I'll be able to pull an envoy out of this soon. Right now, I don't mind the extra cohesion. The sooner we can get this positive, the better. But then I'll be able to yoink one out. All right. So again, I'm still going to save up on some of the... Oh, I don't maybe have to save all this influence. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to try to make a run over here. We'll see if we can grab this system. Systems. And then maybe one more, because apparently they, they are willing to make a jump sometimes. Anomaly found. Alright, Anomaly found is good. You're just still going to chill over here. Oh, right, we got our new ships, um, which did put us over the limit, but that's okay. You come over here, because our limit's about to go up. So yeah, we're, we're spending a little bit more upkeep right now. Fleet enhancement supplied. Ancient structures. Detected utterly massive Evading space hostiles. installation. So, like, enigmatic fortress. Okay. Um, and then we found a salty planet, giving us more happiness everywhere. That's good. And yeah, right now we get, yeah, the automatic research agreement between all members. It would be great if we could pull more members in. We'll, we'll move some envoys around soon. To, uh... Special project concluded. There we go, more specimens. Now, I wonder... Can we just spot some more? Oh, I think there's some specimens over here, so we'll research that. Construction here, ship here is still going to be idle. Actually, maybe what I'll do is I'll move you here. So we're going to be a little bit ready to grab this. Don't know if it's it's right to spend our influence, supplied. but I'm going to feel very uh, like I missed something out. A little FOMO if we don't grab System that and then get this planet concluded. secured for Horizons us. Expanded. Okay, oh, no one's building anything. Hold on, that's no good. Um, so priority is going to be to build on farm experiments here because this is where we can actually move people. We do have an extra actual building slot now, but I think we're going to keep doing districts because we are going to keep needing some housing and things as well. Although we'll get, theoretically, some of these might give us more jobs. Um, what do I build? Well, we do have sprawl, so like the admin centers would be nice. But how many jobs does this give us? two jobs, which is the same as a district, which also gives us housing, although we could use a little... Maybe I'll build one administrative office first, and then go to districts? Okay. And these things eat consumer goods, which we do have a gain on, but we might want to go and build another industrial district. Th though, the 3D printing array is the ideal spot for that. Okay, you are also maxed out, and you do need happiness soon, but I think what I'm going to do is build another industrial district. So give us a bit of housing and some jobs. And then maybe I'll build the entertainment, uh, whatever call thing it's called, I can't remember, um, hollow theaters. And then maybe we do a city district so you get some housing. Some sort of order like that. System Whichever survey. way it develops isn't a huge deal. But yeah, we had a defense Research attack. Now we don't need it because we've got the uh, Federation. Naval capacity increase is good because we were over our cap for a second there. Well, tissue, flagella, blockers. I think pop growth. Pop growth is always pretty freaking strong. Ships sustaining damage. Oh, geez, we lost another ship somewhere. Our science ships keep getting just eaten. Okay, we're going to go and claim this, because he's probably claiming that, and it'll probably go there. I guess you can just wait there, then. System survey That's going to be okay. Complete. Well, actually, hold on. You can come here and hook up the mining station. That's going to be fine. Losing science ships. Now, losing the science ships by themselves isn't so bad, but losing the scientists as well is actually kind of annoying. Uh, I don't have any room here. Well, I have technically living space. I mean, maybe, it, maybe it's worth moving people right now anyway, because this planet is so crap. 
I'm assuming we're going to get a pop-up before we actually, you know, before the planet actually detonates itself. But, may I don't know, maybe I should be preemptively moving some things here. I'm not sure. I think I've already spent the influence on this, yes. So, we can at least grab this one. And, and these systems aren't terribly great, but at least Nuprin is pretty good. And I'm going to want to grab Duix just to make sure he doesn't jump through to over here. Because once we grab Duix, I don't think they'll go and, and expand more aggressively in that direction. And we don't necessarily have to rush Nuprin. Although we might want to, I don't know. It'll give us somewhere else to move some dudes. Folks, we're going to put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching. And so far, this hasn't been completely disastrous. Although very sooner planet is going to explode. But you know, other than that, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye-bye.